my pleasure to join with Kelly and Anita uh, in welcoming you here to this important uh, summit. Uh, and I acknowledge uh, Minister Allen and her shadow, David Davis. It's great to have you uh, with us. Uh, you're important people to contribute to, to our deliberations. I also want to acknowledge Becky. Uh, the Brotherhood over recent times has uh, collaborated closely with Vicky on a number of issues of common concern and it's proving to be a very uh, fruitful uh, collaboration. Uh, I'd also acknowledge the NOWS group who are supporting us uh, in the summit today and have supported the Brotherhood in a number of our yeah. projects over recent years. At the Brotherhood, for some time, we've uh, really believed that there is an essential interdependence between good social policy, good environmental policy, and good economic policy. And we think that is uh, never going to be writ any larger than in uh, our response to climate change. So as Kelly has pointed out, it's very appropriate that we have people here today from all those sectors that she mentioned. Um, the Brotherhood realised some years back that it's the disadvantage in our community that are, going, that are going to be hardest hit by climate change because they have less capacity to insulate their lives uh, from the impact of climate change. And so as a consequence, in collaboration with our other great uh, care organisations and with uh, the conservation uh, movement, in recent years we've raised important issues about equity. Equity, for example, in relation to uh, pricing of energy and water, equity in relation to giving uh, disadvantaged households assistance in reducing their energy and carbon consumption. And of course, equally, there are big issues about uh, equity issues that arise from the changes in our economy that are going to result from climate change and the inevitable move towards a carbon constrained economy. Because we know from previous major economic upheavals it's uh, the disadvantage that suffer the most. And in more recent times, during ec economic upheavals, we put too many disadvantaged Australians on the scrap heap. And whilst we all realise that the problem of the recession that the Australian economy is currently going through is a very serious and deep problem, the reality is uh, that sometime we're going to see the economy start to grow again. And because of the demographics of the Australian society, it's almost inevitable that we're going to see labour and skills shortages start to emerge, whether that's in two or three years' time or five years' time. So we are in a situation in Australia looking forward that we can't afford to have large numbers of disadvantaged people not participating in the workforce and more generally in the economy. So assisting the well-off reduce their carbon emissions, ensuring they have the skills and capacities to take up the opportunities that will inevitably emerge in the greener economy is a win for the environment, a win for the economy, and a win for social equity and social cohesion. At the Brotherhood, we think we have a number of ideas to contribute to the solution recent times we've been promoting the role of social enterprises in assisting disadvantaged people build their capacities and build uh, pathways into the broader uh, work workforce and to mainstream uh, participation in the social and economic life of the nation. But we don't have all the answers so we're very very keen to contribute and to listen and to learn and to contribute to that task that Kelly has laid out for us today in establishing uh, the skeleton of a plan for greener jobs uh, here in Victoria. We're delighted to have the opportunity to participate and we're delighted that so many of you have come together to share uh, this task that has been laid out before us. It's my pleasure now to introduce Anita Roper. <coughs> Anita um, is from uh, Sustainability Victoria and she is going to chair this first session of our summit. So please welcome Anita.